G'day, this is Liv, straight from Kalkine Studio. You're watching Go Green with Kalkine. Today, let's talk about what the UK steel industry can do about the climate challenge. Before we do though, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for notifications for our latest videos. And you can also log on to our website, kalkinemedia.com. Climate change is becoming an increasing threat to the globe. And according to the United Nations Agency, the World Meteorological Organization, the Earth's annual average temperature has a 40% likelihood of temporarily increasing beyond the limit set by the Paris Agreement in the next five years. The Paris Agreement had set a target, as you know, of keeping global warming to rising to 1.5 degrees Celsius or less from pre-industrial levels and carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere touched 419 parts per million in May 2021, and that's the highest in 63 years since data has been recorded. It's estimated that carbon levels are now 50% higher than pre-industrial levels. Heartening to know, though, that the UK has made addressing climate change and improving sustainability a key national focus. And they're doing that through a target of achieving net zero emissions by 2050. It's also scheduled, of course, to host the COP26 UN climate talks in Glasgow in November of this year. But one way the UK government can address this challenge is by increasing its net zero initiatives across high carbon emitting sectors. The British steel industry, for one. It's one of the most polluting sectors in the UK, but it's also a provider of over 30,000 jobs. And according to a report by the Energy and Climate Intelligence Unit, the UK is much farther behind on its steel industry decarbonisation plans than the European Union, with 23 hydrogen-based steel production plants already present in the EU and none yet in the UK. The British government's Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy recently announced a £250 million clean steel fund to help with its decarbonisation strategy. At the global scale, steel is responsible for emitting up to 9% of greenhouse gases. The UK's Committee for Climate Change recommends that the British government expedite its efforts to reach near zero targets for iron ore based steel manufacturing by 2035 rather than the 2040 deadline of reducing emissions by 95% that has been set. The sector can be decarbonised by using a combination of different technologies such as replacing coke and coal with hydrogen fuelled furnaces, incorporating green energy supplies, introducing carbon capture storage and more. An electric arc furnace is one of the most viable technologies for steel production and is readily available at an industrial scale at a competitive cost. Other strategies include the use of direct reduced iron and EF with the use of natural gas. This technology is also readily available and the use of DRI and EF technologies with hydrogen is the most carbon efficient source of steel making. However, while the technology is readily available, it is yet to be cost competitive according to some reports. And according to think tank Commonwealth, steel demand is also forecasted to increase by a third or 33%. Industry leaders in the steel industry have also long called for greater support from the government across energy prices and public procurement. Overall, a concrete government strategy is required to address the steel industry's transition towards becoming a low carbon emitter. Well, that's it for now. I'll be back soon with more shows around clean energy and climate change. Thanks for watching. I'm Leave for Kalkine Media.